Former parishioners of St. Stanislaus Church in Lorraine say the church may be closed, but it's not forgotten. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is just back from Lorraine tonight, where the parishioners are marking a very somber anniversary. Deb? Danita, it was one year ago that the church was closed, and tonight the church family stood in the rain with candles to remember. They were once a family, united by their church, St. Stanislaus Catholic Church in Lorraine. Lord, hear our prayer. They prayed together and sang together until one year ago when the doors of this church were closed for the last time. In the last few years, I lost a lot of family members, and when this church closed, it was just as if those wounds were opened again. <laughs> Bishop Richard Lennon closed 50 Northeast Ohio churches in a restructuring of the diocese, three of them in this neighborhood alone, including St. Stanislaus. It's just, just a shame that they had to close it. So I would, wish they would reopen it, but that's not going to happen. Ted Partika was a member here for 68 years. He hasn't joined another parish since it closed. I don't know if I will or not yet. Why not? I'm just not happy with uh, the diocese, what they've done to us. The parishioners sent letters and petitions all the way to Rome, but their church is still closed. A for sale sign stands in front, but just for tonight, they sing another song and pray another prayer. They are a family again. Just to see the people here again and to, to pray together again like we all did every Sunday for so many years, it means a lot. Now the last of the Catholic churches to close was St. Emmerich here in Cleveland just this past June. Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.